ओके हाय गाइस सो इन द लास्ट क्लास वी कंप्लीटेड दिस वन दिस पीस सो वी स्टार्ट नाउ विथ दिस वन ओके सो बिफोर वी गो यर वी जस्ट क्विकली गो ओवर समथिंग वी डिस्कस इन द लास्ट क्लास ओके दिस कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ व्हाट वी कॉल अ रेस्ट ओके द मीनिंग इज वेरी सिमिलर टू व्हाट वी मीन नॉर्मली मीन बाय रेस्ट लाइक यू नो व्हेन वी से समबडी इज टेकिंग रेस्ट सो इट मींस दैट फॉर व्हाट अ प्ले एनीथिंग दैट्स ऑल इट्स एज सिंपल एज दैट so how do we know how many counts the symbol stands for we have specific symbols like how we have in the normal notation we have that you know this is for one count and this is for two counts and so on we have a very similar uh, you know kind of symbolism here as well so this symbol stands for one count okay so which means that when you come across this symbol whichever hand it is right hand or the left hand you simply don't play anything as an example i'll just show you um, this piece when we come across the symbol here right so as you can see see when we come to this part there's a break that is the rest so i just count it and play it you 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 so there was a break there right that is what we mean by a rest when my right hand doesn't play anything So now to just show to you, I you know kind of exaggerated it and I lifted my finger off like that. We don't have to do that. It just means that the the right hand is just paused and it's ready to play. So if the the same thing happened in the left hand, then it, the same thing applies. Okay. Now uh, what we mean by a half rest is this symbol. It stands in for two counts and a whole rest stands in for four counts. Uh, we have to be a little careful between you know these two symbols because they look the same. It's just that one is placed, you know, on the line, on the third line, looking up, and this one is placed on the, you know, the second line from top, looking down. So once, I mean, if you see it often enough, we'll get used to it. So that's about it, right? So then uh, now we go to this piece, okay? So there's a small, um, you know, there's there's something that we have to be very careful in this piece, and that is that. See, we learn this thing called phrasing, right? Uh, in this uh, piece. so normally the phrase will you know stop at the end of a bar okay but in this piece we have a slightly uh, you know unique thing because the, the uh, this also we discussed last class the, the the phrase actually stops in the middle of a bar okay when it does that we have to be a little careful so i'll just play it once to you and show and then we'll see how it goes okay guys we'll just play this piece quickly and then i you know come to this place which is the thing that we have to learn slower and then i'll explain this particular spot okay so the difference happens here okay so normally we would play you know we would consider this as one phrase right part of this whole phrase but here the phrase stops here it's like when they're singing tan thunder cloud the indian brave is home so this there's a there's a small pause between indian brave and his home and land okay so that has to be brought out in the music as well otherwise it will sound like this brave and his you know comes together which is not the case so even when they're singing if you can see in the lyrics there's a comma here which means that there's a small pause we just have to bring it out in the music so that's all that you have to be a little cautious of so uh, but that doesn't mean that you give a very big break like you know so if we do that that will be wrong because then we are mixing up the timing okay the very important thing to notice here is that we have to do you know justice to the phrasing but at the same time the time has to be kept it's it's still 1 2 3 4 only it's just that you have a You like a very small pause here, and then you start off immediately with this, right? So that is this piece. Um, you can practice this. Any doubts? You know, I'll always uh, uh, you know clear it. Now we come to this one. This is much easier. Okay, in this, if you see, this is exactly what I told you about. See, so here we have the phrase ending in the middle of a bar, but here we don't have that situation. The phrase begins and ends with a. ends at the end of a bar again it begins at the beginning ends at the end of a bar the same thing 
So here there's no confusion. It's, it's you know it's it's a it's a very simple piece. So I'll just play it once. As you saw, it's a very, very simple piece. Um, they have given here this uh, that the rest symbol. We already learnt it here, so that's here, which means that see, for example, when the right hand is playing this, it's a, it's a waltz one two three. So when the right hand is playing the first one two three, my left hand is not doing anything. It's just ready to play. It's just there over the keyboard, hanging, waiting to play when its time has to come. So that's what we mean by the whole rest. It means that the the you don't play anything for the entire. Uh, you know, entire bar. Okay. Uh, so uh, other than that, this is a very very simple piece. I'll play it once more, very very slowly, so that you can also follow it. That's all. So it's a very very simple piece. We'll come to this one next. See this one we haven't actually uh, discussed in in a class. We'll do it the next time when we do a class. But I just thought I'll finish with this one for this video, okay? Because this introduces something else that is new, okay? Uh, actually it introduces two things. The first thing is it introduces this thing called an eighth note, okay? It's very simple. We first had a, um, you know, you have the whole note. If you go back to our earlier uh, classes, uh, yeah. So we have here what is called a four, you know, the whole note four counts. You divide it by two, you get the half note, which is for two counts. Again, you divide it by two, you get the quarter note, which is for one count. Now, what happens when you want to play faster, right? You know, not all pieces will be slow. So when you want to play it a little faster, you, if you divide it again by two, you get what is called as an eighth note. Okay, so as I've given here, two eighth notes equal one count. Okay, so now how do we find that? It's very simple. You can always count and see in any measure to check if that is the case. So if we come to this measure, if we go to this left hand, okay, this as we learnt is a half note rest, right? Which means it's two counts. This, as you know, is one count. Now, they've given that two eighth notes equal one count, right? So both of these together equals one count. So now if we add it all up, we have two and one and one, that is four. The time signature is four counts, right? The time signature is four by four, all right? So we have uh, four counts a measure and that's what we have. So which means that you can always do this in any piece to so just check if you know, if you've, if you've understood it correctly. Okay, so now that's the first thing we learn. Now the second thing that is, you know, very new, this hasn't come in any of the pieces so far is that this piece, even though they've given four counts a measure, if you see the first measure, it has only one count. Okay, so what is missing here? There's nothing missing here. It's just that the song starts like this. The remaining three counts are found at the end of the song. Okay, so in many songs, you'll find that the beginning of the song doesn't have the accent. Okay, here the second note has the accent. So, so then how, how do you understand this whole thing? Um, the, the, I'll just play it once and then I'll explain it to you. Okay. It's a very, very simple piece. Okay. So I'll first tell you both things that we're learning here. The first thing is that there is this new thing that we're learning called the eighth notes. Okay. How, how does that work out here? If you start from here. So if you notice here what we did, see see the difference between, I count it and play. One, two, three, four and. You can count it as four and or you know any anything that will help you because in the fourth count has two eighth notes. So one, two, three, four, one, sorry, one, two, three, four, one. Alright, you can, you know to help you, you can count it as four and. So they normally count it as one and two and three and four and. If that will help you, you can, you know, do it that way or we can actually discuss it when we do a class. 
All right. So uh, that is the first thing that we learned. So if if you were to play it normally, you will miss the timing of the entire piece. Now I just show you. See. As you saw, the the timing of the piece has gone right. That's why you have to play it a little faster. In fact, you'll have to play it twice as fast as how you play this note. See here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that, and the last thing for this piece that we're learning is that the song doesn't begin. At you know the the first accent, the, sorry, the first note doesn't get the accent because it begins the song itself actually begins you know at the last count of this measure. You will understand this better when you play the whole thing twice. Okay, if I if I were to repeat this whole song, you will get the idea. I'll just show it. You know. Well, I just showed you, okay? This this last piece, last bar or the last measure, one, two, three, four, right? That's why we start with this. And since we start with this, we don't give a, an emphasis or you know we don't give our accent here because if we were to do that, the whole thing will again lose its meaning. See how would it sound if I do that? Okay, that didn't sound right. Okay, but if we were to give the accent here. This is where we have to actually give the accent, right? Now it will sound right. One, two, okay. Four, one, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, the wrong way to do it would be. So that's that's all there is to this piece. I'll just play it once more, very very slowly, so that you get both these things that we've learned. One is this the eighth notes, and the other is. This thing of starting on a different, you know, it doesn't start uh, on the the first beat, right? It starts at the fourth beat of this measure, so that's something new. <laughs> 